Assalamu alaikum. Hey guys, I'm back and welcome all of you to my new video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to conduct, how to run Man, Kindle and Shen Slove analysis uh, on your data. These two are very frequently used as statistical model uh, to find out uh, whether your data uh, fall under any significant statistically significant trend and what kind of trend uh, this is going to be whether it is decreasing trend or increasing trend so without further delay let's just jump into our tutorial so uh, before finally uh, getting down to the tutorial let me just uh, give you a very brief introduction of uh, man Kindle and Shen Slove analysis. So the man Kindle trend test is basically used to analyze the data which are collected over time to uh, find out uh, the consistent increasing or decreasing trend. I mean whether uh, uh, your data does have any significant trend or not. If your data is detected with a trend significantly important, then Shen Slove analysis comes up to determine whether this is going to be uh, an increasing trend, an increasing trend, or a decreasing trend. So these two statistical uh, model I mean calculation can be calculated uh, in Excel or in handmade calculation however uh, that's gonna be very time-consuming so to cut off your time to shorten your time if you want to run just write some uh, three four or five line codes in our studio uh, your task is going to be very very short. So first of all Look here. Uh, I'm right now within our studio so uh, first thing to run man and Kindle uh, Man Kindle and trend analysis in our studio. You have to install uh, a package called trend so how to run uh, how to install the trend uh, package in our studio uh, let's just uh, I mean show you first so first uh, you will here write install once you wrote install look the uh, automatic uh, suggested code are here just uh, select this and here uh, you will write trend within the inverted comma then press the enter look updating load package just select yes and it's going to be started to run the trend package so uh, it will take some time uh, hopefully it's done very quickly it's done so one you install the package called trend this trend package uh, is going to include uh, man candle and Shen Slove uh, trend analysis. I mean, it's going to be imported uh, in our studio by this uh, trend package once you install. So now uh, you have trend. Uh, look, uh, before uh, installing package, there was no trend here. However, once I am done with that, trend is here. So it means that uh, the trend package is uh, over here and you can run it right now. So uh, our package or our trend package is ready. Now we have to uh, import our data. So for this tutorial, I'm going to use a dummy data for, uh, I mean, flood uh, area uh, for a particular uh, region uh, it could be in Florida it could be in Bangladesh uh, anywhere in the world however the date I have selected is uh, from 2002 to uh, 2021 so uh, the data is 
uh, I mean saved in a text file you can also use I mean Excel file however for my convenience I have used text data so let's just uh, I mean import your data so to import your data you will go to import data set and there there are uh, many file format for me I'm gonna use from text base so uh, once you click that it's gonna be navigating your the, uh, the stored folder I mean where you have deposited your data so for me uh, let's just find it out in G Drive student I Hassan and then here you go the dummy data look here uh, uh, import data set dummy dot data dot flat so this is the total flood area and here is the corresponding year so there are subsequently I mean 20 years uh, total flood uh, data it's just a uh, dummy data uh, uh, bear in mind so import it once you import it uh, look the data pops up here now you can run uh, uh, your uh, I mean trend analysis uh, on this data so to run first man candle test on your data just type here MK uh, before that you have to make sure that you check in this trend mark just check it uh, below I mean name and once you check this mark uh, it's okay now let's uh, run the man candle analysis first mk for man candle and dot and test here here you will uh, import your data so the data name here is dummy data uh, underscore flat so just start typing dummy once you uh, start typing dummy it will automatically going to be popping up now I have imported my data into man Kindle test however I have to specify the variable which variable is going to be used for our test so here my first variable uh, is going to be a uh, use for this test so to use your variable from your data you have to use the dollar sign and then uh, you will see the suggested variables so select this one for our case and now if you want to run your trend analysis man Kindle test just press enter look once you press enter the trend analysis has been run and here is uh, the result man Kindle trend trust uh, Z value is minus two point something n is equal to number of sample for our case it's 20 p value that's very very important which is the determinant uh, for this test to uh, find out whether this data has any trend significantly important or not so what is the threshold uh, p-value uh, below or uh, above that value you can just determine whether uh, your data has a trend or not the threshold value for P in man Kindle test is 0.05 I'm repeating if uh, your uh, P value from your data from the outcome of your test is less than 0.05 then your data does have a significantly important uh, statistical trend uh, however if your data uh, outputs a p-value which is greater than uh, 0.05 then your data does not have 
any statistically significant trend. So what about uh, uh, our case? So our data, when we uh, run Mankindle analysis on our data, it outputs p-value is equal to 0 0.01037, which is less than p is equal to 0 0.05. That means our case satisfies the criteria for p-value to indicate that our data does have a significantly important uh, statistical trend because p-value is less than 0 0.05. So from this test, we have been, uh, uh, I mean, ensured that our data does have a significantly uh, important uh, trend uh, uh, based on statistics. So now we're going to determine what kind of trend does our data include or fall under, whether it is, uh, I mean, decreasing trend or increasing trend. So for that, once again, you have to uh, check the trend mark on, and then we're going to use Shen slope uh, analysis to run on our data. So to run the Shen slope uh, analysis, just type Shen's. Look here, automatically pops up. The same procedure. You have to import your data first. Just start typing dummy from our case. And here you have to select the variable for our case, this one. So run Shen slow here. Look, uh, here you have to look for the Shen's uh, slope value. So if the slope value is negative, it beckons, it indicates that your trend is, uh, I mean, going down. I mean, this data has a downward trend, I mean, goes uh, to uh, decrease level. And if the Shen slope oil to have, uh, I mean, a positive slope, then it would have been uh, an upward trend. However, for our case, uh, it's minus value, I mean, negative a slope so it's definitely a downward trend so you can also I mean compare the p-value uh, and the other value with the I mean men uh, Kindle trust as well the value should be the same look jet value is equal to minus 2.5631 same is here p-value 0 0.01037 is here and also the other value corresponds to the other ones. So in a sense, Mankindle trend test and Shen's loaf analysis, uh, they are complementary to each other. Uh, together, they give some very holistic decision to your data. Um, Mankindle trend, uh, it gives you uh, uh, a decision whether your data has a significant trend or not. Whereas, uh, Shen slope comes up to uh, determine what kind of trend your data uh, fall under, whether it is, uh, I mean, uh, rising up or going down, uh, I mean, uh, upward trend or downward trend. So, uh, that's all for the time being. Uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please do subscribe to my channel. I will come up with another new video. Till then, bye-bye. Allah Hafiz.